Sir Topham Hatt sat in his car, listening to the noise outside. The passengers were angry. Wait, the, the passengers were angry. The station master came by. There was trouble in the shed. There was trouble at Tisbid Shed, sir. There's trouble at t at the at the at the, at the yard at the yard, sir. He said. The coaches are sulking, and the people are saying that this is a bad railway. Indeed, said Sir Topham Hatt. We cannot allow that. He found Thomas and Percy stuck at, stuck behind the coaches. All the coaches. They wouldn't move. Come along now. Come along now, Thomas. It's time your train was ready. Wait, come along now, Percy. It's time your train was ready. Percy's not going, the truck said. One of the coaches said, We won't be pulled by little tank engines. That was Thomas. That was the tender engine's job. You fetch our coat. You have tank engines, fetch us up, and you couple us to the tender engines. Thomas and Percy felt terrible. They couldn't get out. They were trapped by the coaches. We'll see about that, said Sir Topham Hatt. No coach on my railway is too important for, for a for small job for big job for jobs. So Sir Ta and Sir Topham Hatt got in his car and rushed off to find Scarlowy. Scarlowy was was waiting at a crossing. She want she was giving the thin controller a ride. Excuse me. Mr. Mr. The, wait, the thin control. So Top and Hat asked the thin controller if Scarlowy would love to help. Would love to help. We will. We will. We we here. Let me in Sir Top and Hat's car, Scarlowy. He say, Sir Top and Hat needs you to do a job. Oh. All right, said Scarlowy. What do I have to do? Scarlowy. Scarlowy was fetching the coaches to free Thomas and Percy. Thomas and Percy loved to pull passenger trains. They have to take over for the tender engines. Scarlowy coupled the, the coaches onto Thomas and Percy. And thanks to her hard to his hard work, everything was back to normal. Next morning, Scarlowy was feeling sad. Sir Topham Hatt wondered why. He rolled down his window. <laughs> Scarlowy, what's the matter? Percy was puffing by with a passenger train when the coaches decided to spark with their brakes dragged. Why, bless me, said Sir Topham Hatt. Maybe we do need more coaches, more coaches that can be pulled by tank engines. Ever since Annie and Clarabel left, Thomas cannot, cannot be. Annie and Clarabel are, are, are coaches that Thomas, that tank engines can pull. But, but when Annie and Clarabelle are gone, Thomas cannot pull the coaches because they don't want him to. I am going to find another coat. I'm going to find a new coach, he said. Sir Topham Hatt went to a coach workshop, went to an engine workshop. They showed him all kinds. Sir Topham Hatt went to a coach shop. They showed him all kinds of coaches. Then he saw a, t 
a coach that could be pulled by a tank engine. He was very happy. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, do you promise to work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir, said the coach. Good. I'll call you Kai. I'll call you Cool. I'll call you Kyle. Oh, sir, thank you, sir. And Thomas coupled on to Kyle, and he pulled him away out of the out of the shed. Thomas was. You should hear those coaches in the workshop," said said the coach. Said Kyle. Here's Kyle Percy. Do you mind if you show him your branch? Looks like Thomas gets his branch line. Here's Kyle Percy, he said. Can you show him everything? Sure, sir. Percy gave him a tour all around his branch line. There were only a few trains, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew that the that the other coaches were having a listen. The coaches were miserable in the sheds. They wish now they haven't been so silly.